Noor Mateen, the 30-year-old wife of gunman Omar, is swiftly becoming the key focus for investigators. Neighbours would regularly see the couple with their three-year-old son outside the complex where they lived in the tropical suburbs of Florida's east coast. Officers have been searching their townhouse for physical evidence. But back in Orlando, detail was emerging of another hidden life and revelations that Mateen used gay dating apps. He clearly had his picture open on Adam for Adam. He's had his picture up on Grindr. In Jack, he had his pictures up on there. Cord Sedano told MSNBC Mateen had approached him online. I recognized him from one of the apps, but I instantly blocked him because, like, he was, like, very creepy in his messages, and I, I blocked him immediately. Others say the night he wrought such violence was far from his first inside the Pulse nightclub. In fact, he'd been there dozens of times. I asked his father what he knew. They say that he was known inside that club, that he had conversations with them about you, and that he would sometimes sit in the corner, sometimes he would become belligerent and angry and leave the club. Uh, even I didn't know about this. So why he went there and why did he do uh, shooting there? and I'm not aware of at all. And I wish I did know his intention. I could have stopped him. His father is hoarse from speaking about his son and the massacre he carried out with a handgun and a semi-automatic rifle. What kind of guidance did you give him with regard to people who are gay? Well, I, he wasn't talking about anything of that. So there was one single incident that we went through in Miami, and that's about it. So in Miami, You've said that your son saw two men kissing and he was shocked by that. It was a shock, just a normal reaction that anybody else can show. What's the normal reaction? Just uh, seeing uh, two guys in front of the bunch of kids and ha women kissing each other. So they could have picked another spot, I guess, but uh, sh shocked everybody there. Do you think there's anything wrong with two men kissing one another in public? I, I, have, I have no problem, no issue in that one. You've said in a statement that it is up to Allah whether or not anyone should be punished for their homosexuality. No, what I, what, what I meant was it was wrong translation. Okay, it, what what I meant mean? that no human being can judge about another human being. Does homosexuality require punishment? Uh, uh, that is not up to me, it's up to God. But rather than divine intervention, Mr. Mateen argues club security should have intervened to stop the massacre. The security should have acted better. That was his job. So if... Should he if, have killed your son? Yeah. Yeah, because anybody does any... Uh, breaks the law, any, that person's attention is to kill other people, they should be killed. Doesn't matter who. Some would say a better protection would have been if your son wasn't able to get a gun himself. He, he was a security officer, he had the law, gun permit, he had, they gave him a gun, legally. But he had been investigated twice by the FBI. I know it doesn't break any laws, but do you think it was right and just that he was able to get a semi-automatic weapon designed to no, cause maximum damage? No, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm anti-gun. I'm against anybody getting a gun. But this is Florida where gun rights are unassailable. Unfortunately, he's evil. We happen to be the gun store he picked. Um, a former New York City policeman, Mr. Henson, says all legal checks were performed before Mateen took possession of his weapons lawfully. An evil person came in here and illegally purchased two firearms from us. And if he hadn't purchased them from us, I'm sure he would have gotten them from another local gun store in the area. And that in itself is just one reason why in Washington an angry President Obama called again as he has so many times before for a ban on semi-automatic weapons. Enough talking about being tough on terrorism. Actually be tough on terrorism and stop making it easy as possible for terrorists to buy assault weapons. Reinstate the assault weapons ban. Make it harder for terrorists to use these weapons to kill us. Otherwise, these kinds of events are going to keep on happening. 